Okay, Desert Bearhawk fans, back in the shop. This is video two on this tank install. And you can see here that I've got the tank installed generally. I don't have this strap tightened up, but the forward and aft ones are, and my filler neck is located properly in the wing. And the next thing I needed to do was I needed to mark where these fittings will pierce this rib right here. You can see that there's... So from this side, over here, you can see that the only one I really get lucky with is that one right there. It doesn't actually go 100% through the hole, so I just gotta open a little notch in the hole there for it and we'll be golden. But everything else has to go, I have to make an access hole or punch a hole in that rib. So you need to line up you need to line up where the hole's gonna be. How did I do that? Well, on this one here, now the top, or the uh, the rear one here, it doesn't need anything. I'm just gonna go in, you can see I kinda marked it with a Sharpie. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. The sun might be washing it out. But I'm just gonna open this up right here and that'll be fine, give some clearance. But I needed to mark the location of that one there, this one here, and this one here. So, this is how I did the little guys. You can see right here, I took a piece of drill rod, and I've got different sizes in my shop all over the place, and I made a deal that will slide in and out of the fitting, like so, and I put a point on it, just ran that point up to, gosh, I really wish you could see it, but I guess you can't, but inside here, and I marked the point, I guess you can just see it there. using that and I will do the same thing for this one down right here this one here I did I use the same concept except for and we'll go over on the bench I got this little piece of brass tubing here and um, it fits right into doing this one handed into that like that and I install the fitting with this back, and I slide it into position, put some of my red marking paint on there, slid it right out to where it needs to be, and made a mark on the rib. So that's how I marked the hole locations. You can see the red mark right in there. You can see the black mark if you could, it's washed out. And then this one here, I'm just gonna, I made a sketch of what I need to do. So what I have to do is get in and mark one more hole, which is that guy down there. And then uh, take the tank back out, put my holes in. The reason I've skipped ahead to this step um, is I need a way to actually connect a low pressure air source to my tank. So I'm gonna go over to uh, Duncan Aviation tomorrow flare up a couple pieces of tubing for a test rig and get a Schrader valve into one and uh, should be pretty straightforward and easy to do. So that's uh, that's where we are with the pressure testing. Um, and uh, we'll get these holes fitted in here and I might actually just fit this tank in here and pressure test it right in here. I, I don't know, maybe I won't. But either way, I'm going to get the holes done tonight, and that's how I marked the location. So if that helps somebody figure out how to do it, there you go. Okay, see you in the shop.